Chris, a, a very dominant performance tonight. Is that how you saw the fight going, more or less? Exactly. I knew he couldn't stop my wrestling. I knew that's what I was going to do to him. I dreamt about it. I envisioned it all, the whole entire eight weeks. I, I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, what about his game did you feel like, <laughs> you know, you would be so effective with that, with your wrestling? He's just not a, good, a very good athlete. He doesn't have fast feet. He's short, he's fat. So I just knew I'd be able to run him over. Yeah, and you said before the fight there, you didn't think there was anything he would do that would, that would really worry you. Anything surprise you at all, though, in there? Not at all. It was exactly how we envisioned it. Yeah. Take downs you, and control. Yeah. And you set the heavyweight record for most takedowns. You know, you're only less than 10 fights in your UFC career. What does that mean to you? It just it means I'm going to con continue to use my wrestling because I know it's very dominant. And the score has proved that. I think I had 30-26, 30-25. I'll take that every fight. Yeah, you obviously uh, said a lot to him after the fight. What compelled you to just, you know, not let the performance do the talking, but say a little more after the fact? I mean, he disrespected my father. And that's really, I was all good until then, but when he disrespected my father, I held on to that. Then it became personal? Yes. Yeah. And did that affect your performance at all? Or? No. 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 Because had it, did, had it affected my performance, I probably wouldn't have wrestled. I probably would have went in there and been stupid and trying to swing and knock him out. I just wanted to win. When you feel like you've got that kind of advantage with your wrestling, it, is it hard to stay patient and wait for the takedown? Or Nope. I don't. I know as soon as I get it, game over. So if it happens to two minutes into the fight, four minutes into the fight, six minutes into the fight, once I get it, it's attrition. It starts to wear you down. I know that. I believe in that. What's your biggest takeaway from this fight? My wrestling is very dominant. Um, when you're in, I know you've said in the past you're always going to stick to your wrestling. And, you know, you're not going to get sucked into that thing where you know you maybe go out there and start striking when nope. you shouldn't be and stuff. Uh, but you know, you do hear the crowd getting a little restless at times. Does that affect you at all? Not at all, because I I have a daughter. I have to feed her. I need that win bonus. I'm gonna get it how I have to get it. Do you think that's going to impact? You know. Uh, you know, maybe future opportunities, though. Like, you, we know what the fans want, the UFC wants. They want excitement. They want, you know, finishes, stuff like that. No. I could beat my way through this division. As long as I'm getting win bonuses, it's fine with me. And it sounded like you had a couple names in mind uh, for your next fight. You want to just, you know, say Junior, Stipe, uh, Derek Lewis. Basically, anyone ranked above me. I don't want another Derek. I don't want another Justin, Justin Willis. I want him higher than me. That's who I want. How so quickly are you looking to get back in? We'll see how the foot feels. Uh, I really don't have no demands. I don't have no plans. I want to enjoy this night with my father, my mother, my brothers and sisters, and just enjoy this W. Is there any of those three that you <coughs> prefer the most? Because it seems like Derek is about to get surgery this week, so he's probably going to be out for the I didn't know that. Year. Uh, okay. Yeah, he's got a torn ACL, it sounds oh, like. I so. did not know that. Okay, well, I guess he's out. <laughs> so... Uh, Either Stipe or JDS. Yeah. Do you think Stipe yeah. needs to take a fight like someone against I'm, someone like you at some point? Because he's been waiting out, you know, since he lost the belt to Cormier. It seems like he's really hoping for that rematch. Do you think he needs to? With the, how much the division has changed? You know, Francis is winning, you're winning, JDS is winning. Do you think he needs to get in there and fight so he doesn't kind of get forgotten at this point? Stipe is a grown man. He has a family, so he knows what he has to do to provide for his family. I'm not gonna tell him what tell him what he needs to do. I respect him. And I guess I respect his camp and whatever they're planning. If he does choose to get back in there, I would I'd be honored if I was one of those guys. At what point in the fight did you hurt your foot? I don't remember. Uh, one of the last inside leg kicks I threw, he turned his knee inside and checked it out, caught the top of his knee. So, what did you say to him after the fight? Uh, a lot of disrespectful stuff I don't want to repeat. How do you plan on celebrating here in Nashville? Beer with the family. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.